minutes. That's it, all in. Handlers clear. They're off. They race then the Royal Ant Cup over the straight mile here as they get away and begin to split in towards two groups. Gali and Dunham and Outbreak are fast away with Wani's over the far side with Isla Kai. Koi Koi is also up there with those and then comes Astro King. Great Galleon is on that far side group of runners as well. And also Jimi Hendrix, Koi Koi down the centre in the yellow in Imperial fighter follows him as Reach for the Moon is the leader on the extreme right with uh, the Scarlet Sleeve Jacket and Frankie Dottori. Point Linus is in company with him. And these are then followed by Bear Force One, Atrium further back to Tempest, and then comes Uzo. Uh, these are then being followed through by Intelligent as they head down now towards the halfway stage. Perotto is not far behind the leaders either towards the right hand side. As they now head past halfway, one is just about has the advantage here to in second position Isla Kai outbreak is with those the group on the left are the ones leading at the moment a uh, great Gallion is right in behind these making progress towards the leaders Gali is still there as well dual identity with a chance also as they head now past the two fell on part of the stand side group have joined them over the far side and Awal in the black and orange near side with over the far side Jimi Hendrix going into a clear advantage on that far side Awal is there with the near side to Uso, Tempest is there as well, Perotto behind those, but over the far side, the near side, Sonny Liston, it's Chelsea Thoroughbreds, they've got the Royal Hunt Cup, which one will win? Jimi Hendrix, the far side, Sonny Liston, the red cap is in second position, behind those are Wild and Arian Power and Blessed and Uso and Tempest, and then came Positive. Oh, what a performance by trainer and owners here as Jimi Hendrix beats Sonny Liston. Jimi Hendrix for Rafe Beckett and Ross Orion. Brilliant performance for them and finishing in second, number 12, Sonny Liston for Rafe Beckett and Ryan Moore, both of them carrying the Chelsea Thoroughbreds colours. What an outcome for them, Kevin. Unbelievable. And I'll tell you what, Jimi Hendrix, he has put distance between himself and his opposition on the far side. That's not an inconsequential number of runners over there. He's absolutely mollywopped them. And in fairness, two starts back, we talked about the first-time blinkers for Sonny Liston. This horse had first-time blinkers two starts ago, and he absolutely bolted up that day at Newbury. Now, we didn't repeat it when it sent off favourite next time in Newmarket, but this represents a massive jump back into progression mode. Like, he's, be, he's won his side by 10 lengths. Like, that's something else. And poor old Sonny Liston, he did his thing in the near side in the first time blinkers. He put his side away, but unfortunately, there was another one from the same trainer in the same colours that did even better on the far side. Well, Freddie, Rafe Beckett has described Jimi Hendrix as enigmatic in the past. You don't matter how, mind how enigmatic they are when they can put up a performance like that. Well, that is for sure. And Ross Orion kicked him in the belly with a furlong and a half to run. And he hit the front quite early, I have to say, but he was all game. And the blinkers, that is the, the decisive thing about this horse. The blinkers have helped him focus again so he's got plenty underneath that bonnet and he showed it today well Jimi Hendrix came out of stall seven but he didn't get the cleanest of breaks let's take a look at that far side there and Sonny Liston came out of, uh, of 22 so they had them spread across the track I guess if you're an owner anyway Kevin you'd be pretty pleased that you'd got a horse on either side but well, that's what a result that is like that can't have ever happened before can it <laughs> you know owners would have won two in a race like this um, that, that's incredible. They'll get some kick out of that. And Rafe Beckett will get some kick out of that as well, because that, that's just incredible. Let's have a, a little chat about some of the others as well then, because Frankie set out to make it in this group, Jamie, but yeah. it wasn't to be for him, and he faded, unfortunately, on the well-back reach for the moon. Yeah, the well-back reach for the moon, understandably so, given the dropping class, and Frankie played his part in trying to energise the horse from the front, but reach for the moon just isn't the horse that they hoped. And on the far side, it's Jimi Hendrix. And the, yeah, he's become the eighth, four-year-old in the last nine years to win and it's more than a trend that it's almost become a pattern and an obligation and understandably so because naturally the four-year-olds are still getting better and Jimi Hendrix certainly is did you say that Rafe described him as enigmatic, enigmatic. yeah and that's why the blinkers have gone on but two of his three starting blinkers have yielded big wins none bigger than this and you mentioned the the Astro King hard luck story a couple of years ago 
a snapshot of the line, Kev, actually looks a lot like when Real World won that race. Absolutely, because Jimmy has just proven to be in a different league. How many's over there? Is there a dozen over there? And he's beaten it by 10 lengths. He absolutely powered into the race and galloped all the way to the line. Like, he was one of those, when he won in his penultimate start with the blinkers on, like, it looked like one of those, like, oh, wow, blinkers have really woken him up, and now he can drive on. He did have that blip last time, but talking about getting back on track, and poor old Sonny Liston, you know, if it wasn't the same connections, you feel really sorry for them, but I think they're all right. <laughs> I don't think they'll mind too much, albeit maybe slightly different syndicates here, but they'll, um, they'll all be cheering each other on, I'm sure, and a really confident success by this winner, and well done to Ross Ryan, of course, now riding as a freelance and getting these opportunities, and he's able to take them when they come along, and he comes home in front in one of the biggest handicaps, if not the biggest handicap of the week here at Royal Ascot, and the horse returns 22 to 1. Right, our next live action is back at Worcester. We'll be heading there in 30 seconds.